All right. Hey, this is Rich Formidoni from Korg USA. We're here at NAMM 2013 with our friends at Kraft Music, and I am playing the King Korg Analog Modeling Synthesizer. King Korg is a monstrous synth, 24 voices, each of which has uh, three oscillators, and you can have two timbres going at once. So that means you can have huge polyphonic sounds. In addition to that, you can stack the sounds up, so you can have up to 20, uh, excuse me, you can have up to 12 waveforms playing at the same time on one key. With the unison mode to spread it out even further. Now, if you notice, we've got five octaves worth of real estate here. That makes it very easy to do things like split the keys. Now, you're going to find there's 200 presets on board, and many of them are gig-ready, uh, so you can cover your favorite songs. And we've even got some more modern stuff to cover as well. You can select the sounds by category using these convenient category buttons right here on the top panel. So for example, here's something from the bass category. So we've got some smooth, funky, classy basses, classic basses, also some more aggressive stuff that's good for things like dubstep. and some stuff that's really good for house music or trance. Another good example of that. You can see I'm doing a lot with the joystick. The joystick does an awful lot to bring in other sounds or do things like filter modulation. And since we're talking about filters, the filter is a crucial aspect of any synthesizer, and on King Korg, it's especially crucial. Uh, that's because in addition to its own filters, King Korg models filters from classic vintage analog synths. So for example, here is an OB filter. Here's a P5. And here's an MG. And here's the acid filter. And you can see the real-time controls here are a lot of fun to play with. I've got dedicated sections for the filter and oscillator, each of which has its own OLED display. Easy to read in just about any light. And this is the MS-20 filter. Now, if you know the MS-20, you know that when you crank up the resonance, it howls at you. You can tweak that cutoff as slow as you want. You won't hear any zippering or stepping effects. The cutoff motion is extremely smooth. So, moving along, there's some really great pad sounds. And some of them trigger some sound effects when you pull down on the joystick. For example, here's one called Beach Pad. So lots of interesting things going on. There's some cool sound effects that'll inspire you that are unlike anything you've ever heard before.
then, in addition to all the synthesizer sounds, you also have some multi-bit, uh, multi-sampled PCM. So you have things like pianos. Electric pianos. And claps. And organs and other cool things there that make it a really well-rounded gig instrument. So, uh, there's, a, uh, there's a powerful arpeggiator as well that lets you mute and unmute steps on the fly. And there's even a 16-band vocoder with a dedicated XLR input on the back. So lots of fun things to do. On the right side of the keyboard, there's a dedicated LFO section and an envelope section. So for example, if I wanted to use the, uh, the LFO, I have a convenient button that lets me decide if I wanted to adjust filter or pitch. So the hands-on fun of synthesis is a very important aspect of King Court. It's a heck of a lot of fun to design sounds. On the left side of the board, there's an effects section that's very similar to what you see in our SV-1. So for example, I've got a sound here, and I'm going to apply a pre-effect to it. I'm going to choose the, de uh, the decimator for an instant lo-fi sound. To turn the effect on and off, just tap the knob. So. In mod effects, we have stomp box style effects such as chorus and phaser. And in the reverb and delay section, we have all kinds of adjustable ambience. There's even a tape echo that lets you adjust the time. Just like the old analog uh, tape echo machines. Very cool stuff. You're also going to find a real analog vacuum tube right under this grate and it is far from decorative. When I turn on this tube, I go from this bass sound to a really warmed up version. If I crank up that tube drive, I'll turn down the volume a little bit. So it gets really, really heated up. If I push the boost button, it goes over the top. So on the back, you have your inputs and outputs, pedal jacks, MIDI in and out, and a USB port that lets you connect to a computer to organize sounds. So sounds as good as it looks, right? That's King Korg. It'll be available soon in stores much like Kraft Music. Thanks very much for watching.